Hey, HBA fans, this is your government relations manager, Evan Lukadakis, and I'm here to update you on a string of legislative wins we are coming off of at the Capitol and here locally. So let's get into it. First, SB 26 by Senator Martini would have drastically altered the new Home Warranty Act to encourage more litigation between home builders and home buyers. Across the state, we had a massive outpour of opposition against the bill, and we mobilized our members to email, call, and attend Senate Commerce Committee, where it was being heard. Now, I want to point out that Senator Martini was very accessible and easy to work with, and I'm really glad that he authored the bill, and not someone who hasn't been a friend to the home builders in the past. So he ultimately decided to defer the bill and conduct a study resolution, which is a win for us. Okay, moving on to SB 28 by Senator Price. This bill sought to change the eviction process for rental properties. Essentially, it would have made it more difficult for landlords to remove tenants who are late on rent payments. Once again, we mobilized our troops and got the job done in Senate Judiciary A with the help of the Louisiana Apartment Association. The bill was defeated on a 5 to 1 vote. So if you're not familiar with the legislative process, a bill's first hurdle is being heard in a referenced committee in its respective chamber. If it's a House bill, it first goes to a House committee, and if it's a Senate bill, it first goes to a Senate committee. Pretty simple, right? So for the last two bills, we stopped them at their very first hurdle. Okay, lastly in the Capitol, we have SB 218 by Senator Barrow. So funny story about this one, because it kind of slipped by us at first in Senate Health and Welfare Committee. The bill was actually originally presented as affecting group homes, but it was heavily amended in committee, or what we call gutted, to then put in a statewide rental registry program. And here in New Orleans, we've been fighting this for years. So when we caught wind of it, we happened to get together with the Apartment Association again to fight the bill on the Senate floor. We whipped together the votes needed, through our grassroots efforts, which really have been coming through for us big time this session. And the author, in her own special way, even complimented us on the awesome job that we've been doing. So to wrap this up on our session wins, Senator Barrow did not have the votes needed to pass the bill. So what she did was commissioned a study resolution to research living conditions and rental properties. And next year, we're fairly certain she'll probably bring a similar bill, but we'll be more up on it this go round. All right, let's finish off this episode with our local wins. In Plaquemines Parish, Councilman Carlton LaFrance proposed an ordinance to mandate developers to maintain the streets, drainage systems, utilities, and minor improvements in subdivisions for a period of five years after their completion. First of all, this is just completely crazy. You're opening up an incalculable risk that developers are not going to take so what's going to happen is development is going to come to a screeching halt. So we couldn't let this ordinance pass, and we partnered with the Plaquemines Association of Business and Industry to kill the measure with a 4-4 four to four vote. Okay, lastly for our local wins, there's an ordinance in St. Charles that would have limited how builders fill vacant property to prevent flood water on the adjacent properties. And we caught this before it went up to the council for a vote, and explained that this ordinance could really exacerbate the floodwater problem. So what they did was kick it back to their legislative committee where they decided to form a special task force on this with various stakeholders to hammer out a solution that will make sense. And thankfully, we're gonna be a part of that conversation. Okay, folks, that's all from me. Thanks for tuning in again. And please don't forget to check back in for more government affairs updates. I'll always be here to keep you informed.